Hello, I'm Jim Hamilton, and this is a message from all of us at Rugby Pass. At the start of 2020, life was great. Rugby Pass was running at 100 miles an hour. Life was normal, but in March, the world come to a standstill, and as we shut down to take care of the people that mattered most to us. A year where we were forced into our houses by a deadly virus. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. I've got to be clear, we've all got to be clear, this is the worst public health crisis for a generation. This is a St. Patrick's Day like no other. A day that none of us will ever forget. Rugby was forced to close its gates and the game that binds our very souls was on pause, indefinitely, from March. There was no fans in the stadiums and there was no fans in the pubs. As the weeks and the months ticked by, the heartland of rugby, New Zealand, started to appear to give us some much needed cheer. What's going on in here, boys? The crowd will tell you. The crowd will tell you, right? Crusade on, the sources, crusade on, boys. I just want to say something to like the president of New Zealand. Can you extend my visa, please? I want to stay here, please. Super Rugby Arte Roa competition hit the North and South Islands like a flash. We could just sit back on this side of the world in awe, as there were fans. We are impressed by the Canes, mate. At Rugby Pass, we had a choice. Do we pause or do we play the cars that were dealt? and we keep moving forward and give you, the millions, the kind of content that you have come to expect by the number one rugby platform in the world. Well, after all, the motto is, we are rugby. I'd love to see Shane Williams now. Will they know me? Yeah. Well, they probably won't know you, Jim, to be fair, but... After a lovely trip down memory lane with that quick guy from Wales, no. we had to find a way to adapt. Yeah. The first thing we did was put together a world first, an online FIFA tournament, Northern Hemisphere style, and with some of the biggest names in the rugby sphere. We saw former Saracens teammate of mine, Mako Vunapola, win and donate his £1,000 prize to the legend that is Sir Captain Tom Moore. You've got to look to yourself, remember that tomorrow will get better. The Southern Hemisphere quickly followed suit. We once again brought the drama of schoolboy rugby to life. We launched our own podcast, The Offload. We actually put Braveheart on the night before we beat that cow cow cow. Like, you know people joke about it. We actually stuck it on. We launched a new subscription service called The 15, with no ads. We got behind a few other shows. In Australia, the Aussie Rugby Show. He's just use hand sanitizer for you his just hair. Washed your hair with hand sanitizer. Yeah, I've got hair. Yeah. Mate. How are you? Big weekend? Wow. And the breakdown in the Arte Roa podcast in New Zealand. They've all had COVID. They haven't played for 12 months. They've been in Australia and they've played the Barbarians. I mean, we can beat them. All you need is We can beat them. We took some sponsors along with us for the ride. Healthspan, Manscaped, Amazon, Budgie Smuggler, they all boarded the Rugby Pass train. We dug out footage from the archives that went viral. We opened up a shop. We went to the island of Arran when lockdown eased and made a mini dock on a not so mini prop. I did my own interview show and called it All Access and we even saw the nipples of our maverick friend from Racing 92, Finn Russell. And the nipples just the traps keep the traps on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we engage with some of the biggest names the game has ever seen. Best experience, rugby experience of my life, bar none, was the, um, was the 1997 Lions Tour to South Africa. All that's left to say is a big thank you from me and all of the Rugby Pass team. Life will get back to normal. Rugby will get back to normal. And we, here at Rugby Pass, will be with you all the way. Let's get fans back into stadiums and all enjoy a much needed beer. You can have one, but I need, I need two though. After all, maybe it was a poem. Maybe it really was. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, and I? <laughs>